Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Monday, April 17th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Find them at ChevyDriveChicago.com. We start with football news. Bears made a roster move today, bringing back a familiar face. Dante Pettis, wide receiver and kick returner, has agreed to terms on a one-year contract. A lot of people out there going, why are you bringing this guy back? Look, he returned kicks. He's a good dude in the room. It's a one-year deal for very small money in NFL standards. And if he's your fifth or sixth receiver on your roster, no big problem. We'll see if he makes the club. None of the money is guaranteed. Football morning in America's Peter King, who is as tapped in as anybody in the league, says the best fit for troubled Georgia All-American defensive tackle Jalen Carter is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Carter is visiting the Lions today, who pick at number six. Carter's agent, Drew Rosenhaus, said again this morning, quote, I have zero concern that Jalen will fall out of the top 10. So my question to you is, if Pittsburgh's the best fit, they're picking at 17. If your phone rang and you were the Bears GM, and it's Mike Tomlin saying, okay, I want to come up to nine to get my guy, I'll give you 17, I'll give you a 2024 number one pick, and I'll give you the second round pick back that you gave us for Chase Claypool. Would you do it? Would you do it? It's an interesting proposal. Again, there's a lot of rumors that they want to come up if and only if Carter's on the board at pick number nine. Post your comments right here on YouTube. I would love your perspective. Also, Wednesday, the final day, the teams can have players in for visits before the draft next Thursday night, April 27. And by the way, Jalen Carter will be at the draft. You've got to think that Drew Rosenhaus's agent, who's a veteran, one of the best in the business, would not have him in that scenario if he thought there was a chance he was sliding way down the draft board. Eagles and star quarterback Jalen Hurts have agreed on a five-year, $255 million contract that makes him the highest paid player in NFL history by yearly salary. Baseball Cubs at A's tonight. Hayden Wisniewski against Kyle Muller. Cubs coming off some really good play and won the series this weekend in L.A., taking two of three. Phillies and White Sox postponed due to inclement weather here in Chicago. They'll make it up with a doubleheader tomorrow starting at 3.05, 2.30 pregame on ESPN 1000. NBA playoff news. Giannis Antetokounmpo got a clean MRI result after landing on his back in their loss to Miami yesterday. There is hope that he will be ready. They say they're optimistic he will play in game two on Wednesday night. Also, the Heat learned Tyler Hero probably done for the playoffs. He broke his wrist in that same game. Memphis Grizzlies down 0-1 to the Lakers, maybe without star guard John Morant for game two after he landed awkwardly on his wrist in a game one loss. The Lakers up one zip and looking really strong. And the NHL playoffs begin tonight. Might be the best playoffs in all of pro sports. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll have a Cubs recap coming up tonight when that one goes final in Oakland. Appreciate you greatly. Please hit the subscribe button and please click that like button. Take that.